Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to post on, uh, as I usually do with the uh, different articles to give proper attribution, a piece in the Weekly Standard by Lawrence Lindsay. And uh, he starts out his piece by saying, The conventional wisdom among the chattering class about the Republican field is that voters face a choice between electability and ideology. But a careful look at elections since the end of World War II suggests that is not the case. What most pundits think of as electable, a safe candidate, attractive to moderate voters, has historically been highly unlikely to unseat an incumbent president. In fact, in the five elections since World War II in which the party out of power has picked a safe candidate to take on a sitting president, the result was defeat for the supposedly safe, electable challenger. And he goes on to say, simply stated... Given the incumbents built an advantage, the opposition party must nominate someone who will shake things up in order to win. After all, if an election was simply going to be a rerun of previous elections, the incumbent would win again. He goes on to explain his, uh, he's got an equation for this and how he analyzes it and so forth. So the uh, conventional wisdom isn't conventional at all. It's, it belies history. I just saw the 8 p.m. on Fox saying that every poll shows that Romney would have the best chance of beating Obama. And yet history tells us otherwise. 